Now, there are more evacuations in Hawaii tonight after a major overnight explosion from the Kilauea volcano. You can see the lava and the flames destroying a home right there. I'm here now with meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff. And Jacob, so far, 45 structures have been destroyed by this lava. Yeah, and that's not surprising because the lava burns at about 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. So not surprising as it moves closer to these structures that it would uh, destroy them. Now, it is moving at a very fast and furious p uh, pace with some experts putting its advance at up to three football fields per hour. Fiery lava continued its unrelenting march. A new fast-moving flow crossed a major roadway and rolled towards the ocean roughly two miles away. Four stranded residents had to be airlifted out by the National Guard. The same lava flow swallowed this home in minutes. Even after two weeks, the volcanic images continue to astonish. And officials here are pleading with folks to heed evacuation orders. We can't force them. We can't force anybody. We're just highly recommending for your safety and the safety of first responders to please evacuate. Stuck in Leilani Estates. Anybody can send help. We're on Moku Street. This man used Instagram to call for help after his truck broke down and toxic sulfur dioxide levels soared. He was rescued, but diehards are determined to stay and keep tabs on property and neighbors. I have no fear for not getting out if something catastrophic could happen, but I don't believe anything catastrophic will happen. But in some places, lava is moving quickly, nearly 400 yards an hour. Scott Weggers is documenting his community to help neighbors make a record for insurance claims. We watched Earth come out of the ground. And reshape the landscape. Absolutely reshape the landscape. It, it's a mind scratcher, it really is. And the volcano is on the Big Island, in the southern portion of the Big Island. And with the wind coming from the northeast towards the southwest, there was actually what's called an ash fall warning set up a little bit earlier today. So areas like Ocean View, they had to be careful from that explosive magma actually rising into the air and then falling in the ground. So something really impressive. We don't have those around here, obviously. And obviously, this is a uh, very seismic active uh, location with 110 earthquakes over the last 24 hours. Really remarkable stuff. And we'll certainly be covering this as we go into the coming days until uh, Kilauea finally decides to calm down a little bit. Now,